In this video, we're going to generalize stretches. Okay, so if I start with y is equal to f of x and I transform it so that now I have y is equal to k lots of f of x, so I put a number in front of the function, what we saw in the first video on stretches was that this stretched the curve parallel to the y-axis. Okay, so this is a stretch parallel to the y-axis. And the number that we tried was the number 2. And what we found was that all, all of the y-coordinates of the curve doubled. And so the factor was 2, because all the y-coordinates were being multiplied by 2. So in this case, it would be factor k. So if this was a 3, then the factor would be 3. If this was 10, the factor would be 10. If this was a half, the factor would be a half. Okay, And that's how we describe it. Now, to relate it back to what we saw with the translations, um, what you can do is you can divide both sides by k. Okay, and then you can identify that if you're going from there to there, you're effectively replacing all the y's with y over k. Okay, so you could then um, use this process to tra transform any curve you like. So if we had um, the equation of a circle, for example. So if we had uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25, this was the equation of a circle uh, centered at the origin with radius 5 that we looked at in core 1. If I replace uh, y with y over 2, for example, this is a stretch parallel to the y-axis by factor 2. And so this is now the equation of an ellipse. Okay, What's happened is that this circle that once um, looked like this, now, after the transformation, will look like this, because the circle has been stretched by factor 2 uh, in the y direction. So rather than going through 5 and minus 5 on the y-axis, 5 and minus 5 on the x-axis, you're still going through minus 5 and 5 on the x-axis, but now going through 10 and minus 10 on the y-axis. OK? So this replacement allows you to extend this problem out. But now, what you want to be able to do is identify that if that number in front of the f of x um, is a 3 or a 4 or a 5, you know that that is a stretch parallel to the y axis of factor 3, 4 or 5. Okay. Now, in the second video on stretches, um, what we saw was if I put uh, a number in front of the x, so I, I tried 2 in the video, so let's go with k, okay? We saw this was certainly a stretch. This was parallel to the x-axis, but it's not factor k, because in the video, what we found was that the curve when we had 2x stretched inwards towards the y-axis. And so this wasn't factor 2, this was factor 1 half. So in general, if it's k that's in front of the x, then this is factor 1 over k. So if this was 3x, you would be stretching by a factor of 1 third. Okay? So what you're doing here is um, you're effectively replacing 
um, the x with kx here. Okay, so replace x with kx. And this gives you a stretch parallel to the x-axis factor 1 over k. So if I wanted to stretch this circle by factor 2 in the x, uh, parallel to the x-axis now, I would replace the x with 2x. Um, oh, sorry, that would uh, sorry that wouldn't uh, stretch it by factor two. That would stretch it by factor of a half. Um, so if you wanted to stretch by factor of two, you would have to have um, one over two as um, inside the bracket. Because if half, if k is one half, so what I'm saying here is k is one half. So the factor is 1 over 1 half, which is 2. OK? So that would give you a, an ellipse, which would look like this. So it's now going through minus 10 and 10 on the x-axis, but still going through 5 and minus 5 on the y-axis. OK? So that is, in general, uh, how stretches work, okay? And I'm going to show, show you an exam-style question in the next video.